seconds, pull back. Don't set the hook 10 times. Just do it once. Push off that side. You gotta keep, uh, we got barbless hooks, so if you don't keep tension, you'll lose it. So, gotta separate kind of spread out. Give me one guy back to this corner here. Now, casting in this boat, the best way to do it is bring everything over to the right. And then when I say go, you go. Okay, go! Alright, now just hold your rod tip low. Just let it drag. If it goes down for more than two seconds, pull back. Go on, fish on! Everybody in, everybody in! Fish on, everybody in! Reel, reel, reel! Good, good. So we just got out here for another adventure with real-time fishing. First cast, our announcer Dave Mason. Nice looking fish, Dave. The boat, edge of the boat will cut the line. Edge of the boat will cut the line, so if it goes under the boat, you gotta dip your tip. Dip your net. Northwest Fishing Reports. We're on the Snake River with Toby Wyatt and Rick Claffey, Real Time Fishing. We got some special guests from Larry H. Miller Toyota in Spokane. We've got Chase Mason and Dave Mason. Dave's our announcer. It's an exciting show. Hillary's on the camera today. Keep watching, it's going to get better. Get your rods over to the right here and get ready to cast. Hold your rod tip low. Let it drag. Don't jig it. Hold it still. Here we go. Here we go. Fish. Reeler in. Reel up, fish on. Oh boy, look at this one. He's shooting toward the middle of the river. You gotta start to lift him to Rick if you can. Yeah. Fish, can't beat that, huh, guys? Took a yarn ball with eggs. It's about a 10 pound female Chinook, and it's a keeper. Nice, uh, nice fish. Beautiful. Here's our angler right here. Hot angler. He's the man. We're gonna put this one to sleep, bleed it out, put it on ice. Northwest Fishing Reports. Day on the water. Real time fishing and Toyota. We got Toyota today. These are all Toyota guys. Two casts, two fish. One steelhead, one salmon. We're gonna do another drift. See if we can't go three for three. Here's our baits today. That one took a, a little yarn ball and a salmon row. Secured uh, was a Potsky fire cure. Works really awesome. Steelhead and salmon will eat it. That was that uh, salmon's uh, breakfast of choice. Pretty nice, man. 
Mine too. <laughs> it looks like candy. My kids That's always right. like, that looks, can I eat that? Yeah, they, no, don't eat it. <laughs> right? Try it. Yeah, I would I like, like to it. see them try it. Is, is that your go-to out here? Yeah, I'd say so. Yarn ball eggs, it's, it's about the best. The first one took a puff ball, which is a styrofoam colored ball. Mm -hmm. that was, the steelhead took that, but that salmon, he took, uh, they, he took the yarn ball. And then the same row for both. Doesn't matter what you're targeting there. Yeah, yeah. We kind of uh, you can run several different cures, mm -hmm. um, and this cure is a neutral cure, which both fish will eat it. But you can like some cures are specifically for salmon, some are specifically for steelhead. Sure. Yeah, this one you can multi-purpose. Right, right. All right, let's do it again. In this little hole here. We got fast water here, soft water here. It's what I call a traveling lane. And the mouth of the little river here comes in called the Grand Round. The fish uh, will kind of keg up here, decide uh, you know which way they're going. If they're going to go up uh, up the Grand Round, up the Snake, up the Salmon. Um, so it's a very popular area. There's four other guide boats in here right now, and sometimes. Sometimes hundreds of fish will come out. Fish on! Oh, he missed it, he missed it. Sometimes hundreds of fish will come out of this one hole. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we uh, that was our opportunity for three for three right there. We missed that one. But uh, so far we got two, two for two. Well, Back with more Northwest Fishing Reports right after this. Keeper. All right. Beautiful. That one uh, ate, ate the. Uh, Should we that one that? ate the yarn egg combo. The so salmon are liking that yarn egg combo. Measure. No, that's for sure. Yeah. No doubt. Greg, we're gonna hold this sucker up. Well, we're gonna try. Not Rick hit it again. He, Rick hit it with the. There you go. Rick, put frogs in your purse and hit it. Okay. Uh, this is a jack salmon. This is a Chinook that's under 24 inches. They're a big herd of the run majority of the time. And up here we can keep wild or native six uh, six jacks per year. They opened it up for that. And the, how long have these guys been in the ocean? Uh, just one year. Oh, they always used to think that jacks would spawn other jacks, but they say, there's recent studies, they say a jack can actually spawn a 60 pound salmon. So There you go. Wow. Nice looking fish. No, it's a fish. All right. Really, don't worry about that line. Don't worry about it. Chase, Woo. Woo. that's a chromer. Yeah, about 480 miles that fish made it that far. 
That's a great color for this far up the snake. Wow. The log fish are native. Yeah, I gotta put them all back. Fish! Rob, you just got bit. I thought so. Pulling them up, pulling them out of the mouth all morning. There we go. No. Rock. But I like your enthusiasm. I like it. That's a handy little trick there, Rick. Every trick in the book. That's why we call him Tricky Ricky. Oh. <laughs> tricky Tricky. What kind of brand are those zip ties? <laughs> Real time brand zip ties we use to hold our eggs on our line. So if you see here on your egg loop, pull that out. We took a real time brand zip tie, put it on there. Take your eggs, cinch her in there, and it helps hold those eggs on. The line doesn't pull through, so they last took three, little, four, uh, four more casts than normal. Five cents a zip tie. <laughs> Minimum three. They got it. Mission! Everybody in. Everybody in. Oh! Yeah! Oh! There we go. Net. Take a step forward. There we go. Wow. Good color on that. Nice steel head. Male. Got, you see how it's got more color than the uh, first one we got was a, a female, a little more silver. This one's a male. It took uh, yarn ball, egg, and corky. Okay. Beautiful fish. Follow. To the right. It's a good system you got here. Yeah, this is mainly this is the uh, super bait pro troll setup for down at uh, Hanford Reach, and we might be going back down there uh, next week. So we haven't changed over yet. Normally these are all full of uh, our different size shot. This is a 16 here. Depending on the water. Uh, conditions. If there's a swift current, we go heavier. If there's a, a lighter current, we'll go down to maybe even four, four shot. But, and a uh, four shot, what's that? Uh, a couple ounces? That's probably, a, yeah, two ounces. I, I think you can say that one of these shot is about a three sixteenths or quarter ounce. Gotcha. So a four shot could even be an ounce, but yeah, yeah, or mm -hmm. close to ounce, ounce and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we just take a shrink wrap, wrap them up with a swivel on there, and it. I like it. Good. Yeah. I think that uh, do you, that smooth shrink wrap does that help with snags and things? Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and you don't have to mess with that lead, unwrapping the lead and punching it, mm -hmm. getting it all over your hands on your baits. Mm -hmm. so this is a lot nicer. Right. Very slick. Another top secret real time That's tip. That's right. And the zip ties. That's why you guys rock. Here you go. Up, 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 up. Oh, everybody no. in, everybody in, everybody in. Beautiful. All right. Nice. I think it's a big steelhead. Real-time fishing right there. Let me slide that towel back. There we go. Beauty. Awesome. See you later. Woo! Oh,
Ha, ha, ha.